Okay, so for our last video, we are now going to be giving Mr. Jamie Carson. Um, he's gonna have some Dilaudid. He's also gonna have some um, insulin. And then we're gonna go over our safety checks, our medic, um, medication rights, and um, then I'm gonna have another nurse verify the insulin with me. So we're gonna start out, and I am right now, I am going to look at my doctor's orders. Um, I've got my doctor's orders here and I'm comparing my doctor's orders against my MAR and I see that I have the right patient. So I'm going over my um, medication rights right now. I'm going, um, I'm gonna make sure I've got the right patient. The names match on the um, MAR and the doctor's order. I'm gonna make sure it's the right time. We're gonna be given um, Dilaudid two milligrams. I am every six hours. Their last dose of um, Dilaudid was given in the ER at 11. So it is now time for them to have more um, Dilaudid. Um, and then we're also going to go ahead and give four units of insulin based on the doctor's orders. And I'm verifying this against my orders and my MAR. Okay, so I've got the right patient. I'm at the right time. I'm given the right dose. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that up. Right route, the um, insulin is gonna be subcutaneous and the Dilaudid is gonna be given IM. Okay, and then I'm gonna do my documentation towards the end. I'm gonna educate my patient. I'm letting my patient know that they're gonna be getting Dilaudid for pain and then they're gonna be getting insulin because their blood sugar was high to lower their blood sugar. We don't want them to be hyperglycemic. So we're gonna go ahead and give them some insulin to lower the blood sugar. Once that done, I know my patient has the right to refuse and then I'm gonna evaluate my patient. So before I give them pain medication, I'm gonna assess their pain. My patient stated to me that his pain level is at a nine out of 10. So that's letting me know we can go ahead and give that um, PRN Dilaudid for pain. And then I've already evaluated his AccuCheck and that's how I know that he's gonna be getting 250 units of insulin because his, um, he's gonna be getting four units of insulin because his AccuCheck was 250. So I've done my evaluations. So I'm um, gonna assess my patient and I noticed that he is seeming a bit hyperglycemic. He's obviously in distress because he's in pain. So we're gonna go ahead and give him the medications. And then once we're done, we're going to evaluate him again after administering our medications. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my doctor's orders and I'm gonna grab my MAR and this is when I would perform my three safety checks. I'm gonna perform my first safety check when I go ahead and pull my medication out of my drawer. So I'm looking at my MAR, comparing it to my doctor's orders and I see that I'm going to be getting some Dilaudid for pain. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my fingerprint on the fixes. With narcotic, usually you have to have a witness as well. So I'm going ahead and pulling up my Dilaudid. I've got my Dilaudid here. And then I'm going to be getting insulin. So I'm going to go ahead and get my regular insulin and pull that up. I would perform another safety check once I pull the medications out of the drawer against my MAR and my doctor's order. I've now performed my second safety check and my third safety check would be performed at the bedside with my patient using their identification bracelet. Okay, so now that I'm still in the pixels, or I would perform another safety check if I um, separated the medications. So now I'm going to go ahead and pull up my Dilaudid. I'm gonna actually do my insulin first. So I'm gonna have my um, a second nurse come in and witness my insulin with me. So um, my second nurse, I'm gonna need you, I need a witness for my insulin. So can you come and witness my insulin with me, please? Yes. Okay, so here's my second nurse, Maya. She's gonna be witnessing my insulin with me. Okay, so we can move <laughs> the camera right here so that you can see the nurse while we witness the insulin. Okay. Okay, so I've got my insulin. Okay, here's my doctor's orders. Here's my MAR. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and check the expiration date and the lot number. It says 2024, so I can go ahead and still use it. My doctor's order says I'm gonna be using regular insulin based on the sliding scale, so I'm gonna go ahead and open my alcohol, clean off my vial. 
Okay. What's their patient's name? Um, last name Carson, first name Jamie. His date of birth? Is 02-02-1999. Check. It was two fifty. So I'm gonna go ahead. I would have on gloves, um, and I'm going to pull up four units. Okay. Okay, and then using the one hand, I'm going to close that off. I think my syringe took oh. Okay. It's good. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so I've had another nurse verify my insulin with me. Um, <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and um, I would just note what this was, that this was my four units. So now in the pictures, I'm still going to go ahead and pull up my Dilaudid. Um, so I've got my syringe here and I'm going to use a filter needle to pull up my Dilaudid. And then I'll also clean off the top of this. And I'm going to be, I know that with the lotted, um, they're going to be getting two milligrams IN. Um, and I know with the lotted, two milligrams is one ml. So I'm going to be pulling up one ml. So I'm just going to pull up one ml of air. I'm going to take that off. I'm going to push the one ml in. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull up one and now making sure we've got no bubbles. Okay. Now that I've got that, I'm going to use the one-handed method to go ahead and close that off. And then I got a little bit of stuff, stuff on here. Okay. Then I can go ahead and take this off. And I'm going to go and put my IM needle on here. Okay. And I've got one ML. And then I've got four units. I can label these because I'm going to be taking this into my patient's room now. And this is where I would perform my third safety check. So now that I'm in my patient's room, and these will go back into the pixels because those are reversible. Okay, so now I'm going to perform my third safety check at the bedside. And I can turn this this way. And this is where I'm going to administer it. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to be doing subcutaneous and I'm going to be doing um, a IM injection. So I've got my lemon here to perform my IM injection. Um, I'm going to start with the subcutaneous. So I'm going to go ahead and inject my patient in their belly. So this is going to be their belly button. Again, I would have on gloves when I'm doing this. When I'm doing this, starting with my um, insulin. So I'm going to go to about three fingers over from the umbilicus, which is here, and I'm going to the right. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that area with the alcohol. I'm gonna go ahead and mark it as well. I'm gonna give it a little pinch. I'm gonna take that off. I actually bent this needle when I was pulling that up, but. I'm going to go ahead and pinch it and insert it, okay? Once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and push my insulin in, hold for 10 seconds, and then pull it out and activate my safety. That's that. Now, with my um, Dilaudid, I'm going to go ahead and give that in the um, deltoid. So I'm going to go... Um, three fingers down from the acromion process, an upside down triangle. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that area with the alcohol and mark it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull that back open. I've got my actual needle. So once I do that, 
Mm -hmm. Once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and inject into the muscle. When I pull, I'm going to pull back and aspirate and then push forward and inject. Hold for 10 seconds and pull out. And again, activate my safety. But for teaching purposes, I'm going to just recap it again. Uh -oh. And I performed my third safety check at the bedside. I checked my patient's identification bracelet against my MAR, my orders, and the medications that I had here. Now with my three safety checks, I also educated my patient. Once again, I said all this stuff. I talked through it at the beginning, but I educated my patient. Um, I'm gonna come back in 15 minutes to check their um, pain, reevaluate them, and their um, check is going to be checked over again just to see if their blood sugar went down. Um, and then I would do my documentation. If when I got to the bedside, if my patient decided they didn't want any of these medications, they have the right to refuse. That's one of our medication rights. So they would have been able to refuse. And that is it for my medication administration video for Jamie Carson. Thank you.